I was actually here in July for a family holiday, um, but this time it's a, a hiking trip. So I'm making my way up to, I'm not gonna pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. Um, it's quite a well-known mountain, I say, snow down here. Um, from this viewpoint, it looks like a pyramid as you come up towards it from Crusoe. I think that's named the village I stopped at. It's not a long hike up there, but it's fairly steep. And I haven't hiked up mountains since, I think November last year. And that wasn't a big mountain, so I'm really not used to the mountains. I don't live near them. I live down in Essex. So the first mountain it's quite a shock to the system. <laughs> so I'm gonna take regular stops and then um, naturally stop to take a photo or two and a bit of video. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, blue sky, it's about 20 degrees centigrade. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, just a sheep for company. I'll right, see you at the top.
I didn't do any talking up there. Um, uh, it's quite an effort to get up there, um, especially as I'm, I haven't hiked up a mountain for about a year, I think it is. Um, so I'm not used to even walking up a relatively small hill, let alone a mountain. So to tackle a mountain first thing, yeah, it's quite hard work. I just took lots of stops, and um, which is convenient, so I can take some photos on the way up. All right, I need to, it's a bit boggy here. I need to find a way across. Oh, I just trod in some wet bog. Ah, that's not nice. Ah, wet foot. I mean, this is summer and there's still a little bit of wet bog around, so I can't imagine what this is like in the winter. But yeah, uh, the ridge is behind me there. So I've come down off the ridge there. Beautiful views up there. And I've got, a, got some nice photos, I hope. Um, so I'm just tracking my way back around the other side. And there's a path which follows the valley back. But it goes via a, an old sleet quarry, which I'm heading to now. So that might be interesting. Um, hopefully I'll get some more photos there. Pretty amazing place this. Absolutely desolate, but it's this stark slate amongst the you know the scenery of the mountains. It's uh, it's the contrast that makes it interesting. Yeah, there's nobody here. I made my way back down on that, off the ridge there and I completely lost the trail. It really wasn't clear and it was so boggy and uh, my feet are soaked. It's just starting to dry. But the, the trail just kind of loses its way there. Uh, but I, I saw sight of this quarry so I knew the direction I needed to go in so I just headed this way and thankfully I got here but there's a nice trail leading back. So I'll just stay dry for here on. I can even hear um, water running over there. That's actually this small series of waterfalls. Yeah, this looks like an old slate building here. Imagine uh, many years ago, the quarrying that was going on here. So much slate. Thank you. 
that is a very cool place to explore. Difficult in this light, especially with lots of contrast and bright highlights. And as you go into the buildings, obviously you're in deep shadow. So I think on a moody day, this location will work better. But as it is, I think the week ahead is pretty much blue skies and sunny. So I make do, uh, do the best I can. But I'm just going to follow the path back down, uh, back for the valley down there. Uh, up the side of the mountain here. Ah, losing my words. You see, I'm really tired. Uh, I've probably done, oh, I don't know, 50,000 steps or something like that at least. Um, yeah, so a lot of walking today and my feet are still wet from the bug. But I'm gonna trudge on and make, make my way down. <laughs> 